Well, Robert, thank you for joining us on the Lightweight Boxing Show. There's been a lot of interest, as you can see, in this fight. And one of the big questions has been you joining the AJ camp. So, again, very, very simple. How have you found working with him compared to, I mean, so many brilliant fighters that you've worked with? No, I, it's a great challenge for me, too. You know, as a trainer, this is my first time working for a heavyweight uh, championship of the world. I've trained with heavyweights before. I actually have a, a very talented heavyweight in my gym right now. He's 3-0 with three knockouts. But, uh, but yes, this is the first time that we're challenging for a world title. You know, uh, it's a challenge, you know, as, as a trainer. You know, I've had 14 world champions, but never had a heavyweight. So this is going to be the biggest accomplishments of, of, of my career as a trainer. So I'm very, very happy to be here, but I'm also very motivated to do it, you know, to to make things right. And uh, and uh, myself and Angel Fernandez working together with the same game plan, uh, same strategy to come up with a win. Robert, you just mentioned it then. It's like the biggest challenge of your career. You know, you don't normally believe things as a fighter winning a world title. With family, you've won world titles. With Mike here, the 14 world champions. Where would this rate be? You know, August the 20th, if it goes your way. AJ wins that world title, gets revenge. Does this rate right up there? You know what? I've said it before, you know, that when you bring a fighter from the amateurs, yes. to the pros, to the pro debut, and then to become world champion, special. That's, the, that's special. I yeah. did it last week with, you know, I did it with, with course, Bam Rodriguez, Bam, Bam. Yeah. my brother Mikey, Brandon, Brandon Rios, Rios also, yes. you know, from the amateurs to, uh, to world champions. Yeah. And that's, that's a great feeling because you love those kids. They're, they're your family. Yes. But, uh, but, you know, heavyweight champion of the world is, is, wow. is something very special yes. too. You know, uh, the heavyweights is, is, a, is, a, is a division that rules boxing. So having a heavyweight champion of the world would probably be the biggest, the biggest win achievement, as, my yeah. achievement as, as a trainer. So I'm here for that, you know. I, I would be back home with all my fighters, with yes. all my champions, with all my, my young, talented yes. fighters, prospects that are, that are getting ready for fights. Yeah. But I'm here because I want that challenge. I yeah. want that win. So I'm training so hard, you know. Myself and Angel Fernandez, you know, we're, we're focused on, on, on making our first yes. heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah. Robert, it's been interesting talking to AJ about the mental side of the game. Now, we saw in the press conference, you were talking about AJ. Look how big he was and he's big, you know, when the head-to-head -head is happening. It's clear that you're working on that side of his game because we saw in the first fight, he did look quite mentally exhausted as well because Yusik, we know how clever he is. With his amateur and professional pedigree, Yusik, his footwork and everything else, how do you make those changes? You know what, Usik is a very, very smart fighter. Uh, he used to train in my gym in California, yep. you know, for many fights, Lomachenko prepared himself there for many, for many years, you know, so I know them very well, you know, very smart, but also, you know, great people too, so I, I, I don't, you know, I can't say anything bad about them because they're great people, but, you know, Inside the ring, we got to take advantage of, of uh, I'm here to win this fight, and I got to take advantage of what, what Anthony needs to do. You know, he's got a great jab. Anthony has a great jab, so let's use it. Great right hand, uh, fast, straight right hand, let's use it. You know, the very few times that he landed in, in, the, in, the, in the first fight, it did get uh, the attention of Usyk. He, you know, he felt those punches. His, his, his face showed it. Uh, his body showed that he felt those punches. So now we got to just do it more often, be a little more aggressive. But I also know Usyk. I also know Usyk could switch things around on us. You know, he could he could change a, a style. He could fight a totally different fight from what he did the first fight. So we got to be prepared, prepared for everything. You know, we have five different sparring partners, and everybody has different styles. So we got to be ready for everything because in the fight, we don't know what Usyk is going to bring. He's just that smart. Robert, finally from me. I, um, I saw a quote, whether it was you who said it, so you'll have to put me right whether you did or not, saying about away from this fight, Bam Rodriguez. At 20 years old, I read that you said he was the best fighter in your gym, whether he's the best, the most talented. Over the weekend, it feels like he's really announced himself over here um, with the amazing performance. How highly, how highly do you rate this fighter and what do you think he can go on to do? 
You know what? Uh, after his last fight, uh, I got so many, so many calls and messages from people that I yes. know that I've told them that, and yeah. they've told me, you said it for Robert, a long time. you were so right. You know, you've said yeah. it for so long that Special this kid fire. could be the most talented fighter that you've ever worked with. And you know what? My brother was very talented. Yeah. Nonito Donner, very yes. talented. You know, I've had great, very talented fighters, but this kid is special. This yes. kid is special. You know, he's 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 one of those kids that. You know, he's a nice kid, but inside the ring, yes. he's a beast. And but he also has great skills, good footwork, something combined Balance. to where yeah. to where very few fighters can yeah. do. So I think he is one of the most anti fighters I work. We're excited. We're excited to watch it. Just a very final one, then, Robert. As we're here promoting Usyk Joshua, is the only way Joshua can win by KO? I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, I think if we control good the fight with the jab and the straight punches and use take advantage of that of that uh, reach advantage, I think we could also win by decision. You know, the the best win, way to win would be by knockout, obviously, and that's what we're looking for. But uh, we could also win by decision if 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 we still fight smart and don't let Usyk, you know, on the inside or or or, or we're able to counter some of those punches that Rusik throws, then we'll be able to control the fight and win the decision. But, you know, the, the best thing to, for us to do is go out there, use the power, use the strength, and try to win by knockout, obviously. But uh, but we could also win by decision. Thank you very much for thank joining you. us. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. Thank you, awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys. Beautiful. Thank you guys. All right.